Genesis 12. Genesis chapter 12. Verse 1. Verse 1. The will of God for you. The moment when you are in God's will, you are asking God to show you things that will happen. There will be a promise. You will know what will happen. It's very bad not to know what is happening to you. What more of your generation? That when you start to follow God's will, you will also know things that will happen. You will know that there are things that does not belong to you. You know, there are many people today who are trying to get whatever that can be There are some things that your children have to achieve. There is a land that does not belong to you. It's when you hear God's God speaking with you. Genesis 37. Genesis 37. Verse 5. Verse 5. When you are in God's will, sometimes when things are happening around you, you don't even understand this. Some things that are happening to you is a plan of his will. The rejection you are facing, the challenges you are going through, the challenge you are going through, God is speaking something. But where you are is not your place. Many times when we experience things, we question why those things. I'm here to tell you what you are facing. You are not facing it by mistake. It's a ghost will for you. I say it's a ghost will for you. Can I tell you something? Many times you want to change things. Why don't you change yourself? I mean, why don't you change yourself? It's a God's will for you to look the way you are. It's a God's will for you to be born in that family. The way you are. God wanted it to be the way you are. Some of you, your same names where you were born. It does not make sense. They are even cursing. You are born in a family whereby God wants to prove a sense. To someone who does not know God. It's a God's will for you. It's a God's will for you. Born in that family, that poor family. It's a God's will for you to be rejected and face what you are facing. I tell someone who is listening to me that you are facing God's will. Don't get out of obedience. Allow God to speak. You will reach a place where God will speak with you. If you believe, say hallelujah. If you believe, God will speak with you. If you believe, say hallelujah. 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 Verse 2 to 11. Two to eleven. That prison will never change you. If you are entitled, if you are tailor-made, to meet things that are shameful. If you are in stagnation, if you are in stagnation, and nothing is happening, I'm here to tell you. Before God, you are still the same. I see you are still the same. Luke twenty-two. Luke twenty-two. 41, 41 to 46. To 46. Someone here have been facing a shame. But can I tell you this? It's the will of God for you. You will come out with victory. I say you are about to come out with victory. I don't know if you are hearing me. When you want His will. You invite God's presence to come and strengthen you. Not to find yourself changing the situation. 
God will strengthen you to pass that situation to overcome it. There are some situations you are going through that you always think about them. Why? Because you have not given them to Jesus. If you give them all to God and you will receive strength, you will go through them. You will be untouchable. I don't know if you are hearing me. There will be no depression. The reason why you've got depression, you are handling it your way. I say you are handling it your way. Give it to God. He will strengthen you. You are going through that. It has been allowed for you to go through that. That debt you are facing, you have been allowed to have that debt. That shame, that sickness, that's what you are going through. But not your will. You don't need to reason it. I see someone say, hey, I'm getting out of reason. I'm giving it to God. Yes, I'm giving it to God. My God is about to do it. My God is about to make a way. There's a door that God is opening. I know you will be able to close it. I give it to God. I need someone who can say, hey, I give it to God. Can you tell them I give it to God? I don't want to think about it. I don't it. want to worry about it. I give it to God. If you are giving it to I God, God, He is strengthening you. You need to reach a place when where you, you don't focus on your problems. You focus on what God wants to do with your life. Get out from that problem. Can I tell you this? Sometimes some things are there just to take you away. So so that you look on them. You begin to focus on them. When you look at the things, it's like you are telling God, God, you are a failure. God, you are a failure. Why you allow this to me? Why you allow this to me? There's no problem that a Christian face, which is not a progress before God. Hebrews 10. Verse 35 to 36. We close. Hebrews 10. Oh God. Hebrews 10. Verse 35 to 36. You have need. Do not cast away your confidence. You can endure under difficulties. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Whatever you are going through, can you start to thank God about what you are going through? And thank God that God has given you the endurance now. God is touching you to give you endurance without compromise. It becomes the will of God for you. Tell God.